Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Yves Hutu and again, today again, making two videos, a TA video and a family blockchain or mindset video later this day when I maybe walk the beach or the center, we will see. But uh, first a TA video, because what is happening to Bitcoin? Because my videos of the days before showed you that we should have been moving upwards. Uh, are we moving upwards now or are we not moving upwards? Which direction are we going? What are we seeing in the long term uh, numbers? Let's take a short look into the charts um, while I take a sip of my tea tea today no coffee there was no coffee in the house i always get like a little bit <laughs> grumpy when there is no coffee but let's jump into the first chart this one bam This is the four hour chart, guys. This is the four hour chart we have been talking about some time now. And every time in this four hour chart, we see these patterns forming. We talked about this pattern. And we talked about yesterday the pattern that if we would break out to the upside, we said, then we would come down and we would go again. That is what we said. Now, we also said yesterday, if we would break down to the downside and come to there, and then we would take the trade. Now, the question is now we have one and a half hour left. If this red candle is not going to close inside this triangle, then there is a huge chance that this trade is going to be the confirmation of the short that we should be taking. And that short, yes, that can all the way end up at around 50k at first, which is the level of support. That's the level that, you know, a lot of areas have been fighting or finding support so around 50k and after that guys we could even drop lower you know to 49k 48k but let's see we don't know yet we need to wait for the confirmation we need to wait if this red candle is going to close in this green triangle because if we would close in it that would be like a, a fake out so we would have needed to have the confirmation of closing down below but then we will close inside and mostly when that fake out happens we will see this huge run up uh, that is of course what we see now already happening in ethereum so is ethereum again leading now this time is ethereum showing us okay we are going to go up volume 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 and if ethereum is going to go up like this crazy we are almost 2600 and um, are we going to do the same with bitcoin now because the last time Ethereum ran, Bitcoin followed very nicely. So let's see where was the previous all-time high of Ethereum. That was over there, uh, 2,548. We are already at uh, 2,579. We were at 2,600. Uh, but that's a new all-time high in Ethereum, guys. Um, so is, going, is Bitcoin really going to pass this huge run in volume? I really don't believe this. I think Bitcoin might be... Uh, pulling off something really cool this is the one hour chart now so I need to go back to the four hour might be pulling off something really cool by closing this candle again inside the triangle but let's see when we don't do it that could be a beautiful opportunity to trade again um, this is the chart of yesterday uh, like you can see I draw drew this yesterday so we are seeing what is going to happen again and if we are taking a look now at the bam bam indicator so uh, on the four hour we saw on the geez, on the four hour, we saw here behind this one a short flag. So that was already saying, okay, we are going to go short in Bitcoin on the four hour. The green was declining. We saw the red dot over there. What did the bam bam do? The bam bam crossed the yellow, uh, the, the white line. So that would be a short, but again, it's like a very flat market. So it would not be a perfect short. It would be 1% short, the one that you want to make every day. But still, you know, it's a, uh, 
It's a strange market in my opinion at the moment because Ethereum is running as a crazy and the Bam Bam indicator is set uh, to take the long over there but we will wait till we close above the yellow stepping line so there is the moment we close above the yellow stepping line that is also the moment that the green starts to exist, the white is going to the top, the Bam Bam is crossing the white line. That would be a valid long call over there from the Bam Bam indicator. And that long call would now be in a profit, uh, let's take it late, but that will now be in a profit of 13%. Uh, yeah, with a leverage, for example, of 10, it would be 130%, but even if it was just a normal trade, it would be 30%. So that, that's your 2% a day um, there already in Ethereum, for example, uh, that is like in two days, 13%. So let's jump into the next chart, this one, bam. I want to show you this because um, it's very important to understand. We can see that the volume is leaving the exchanges the balance on exchanges are de is declining which means you can see this red line going down over here on the right side this means that people are taking away their bitcoin from exchanges this is normally something that we see before a huge bull run like we if we would have looked at this point over there we see this volume dropping down and that is just before you see this gray line this is the huge bull run we see this happening now again. We see this volume tremendously going down. Could this be again the start of this huge bull run? This is when you zoom out. And when you look um, to, to, for example, uh, also this one is really cool to see. Let's see the number of wills. That one is what I'm searching. The number of wills, look, it's, it's really st like stable, you know? It's people that hold more than 1,000 Bitcoins. That's a moment is really stable. Normally, uh, you know, when the whales are going to sell their bitcoins, you see a decline in the whales. And that's what you saw here in 2017, for example, at the top. When the whales start, uh, this is 2013, sorry, at the top. When the whales start to sell, brrr, that is when the bear market started. And in 2017, the whales started to sell over here as well. You see, this is the, the, the decrease of the whales. Brrr, that's when you see the bear market. We don't see this. We see us still going up in the wheel. So I don't think uh, we need to stress out. At the same time, we can see uh, there's a bank that still wants to refuse customers who, who do <laughs> crypto. Uh, that bank, I think, will go bankrupt. Um, but you know, you can also see the Bitcoin dominance is going to drop below the 50% for the first time in three years. On the other hand, you see that Kraken, um, that now the Rothschilds are being uh, buying stakes into Kraken. Uh, I read a lot of articles this morning that there is a lot of money flowing into the industry, a lot of billion dollar funds, company, again, buying more Bitcoin. So it's a strange market. I don't understand why Bitcoin is not moving it up at the moment, but something will come out today or tomorrow and we will see. So maybe it will be a huge pump, maybe a huge dump, something will happen, we will trade it. Guys, then there is one more thing that I want to show you and that is this one, bam. That is this one, bam. Ah, sometimes my fingers don't work. <laughs> this chart is the Bitcoin halving candles. So you can see the first halving, the second halving, third halving, and now we are going to go to the fourth halving. This fourth halving candle that will close in the year of 2024 these other candles you can see were 5,280 percent 2,204 percent 528 percent is the one at the moment wait I need to um, do this I'm going to go this side now because that one is the least uh, important one and the third candle to today is 528 percent are we going to go back to the 1,200% level or are we going to go back? Um, so are we going to go back, guys, to this 1,204% level or are we going to make another candle of 5,000%? Uh, now we are at 528% or are we going to um, make a complete new number? You know, we, we don't know, but the thing is, these candles are always the candles with a huge amount of profit. So I believe we can go up to 700%. So I think this 100k level there up is hugely, uh, but it's not that difficult anymore. I think for Bitcoin, we already were at 65. So that's not that huge run anymore. You know, we went from 20 to 65, that's 40k, another 40k, and you were at 100k. Then we have this one as well. Um, this chart 
is the most beautiful job in my opinion because this job is telling all the people that are investing in gold what the difference would have been if they would have invested in Bitcoin. If the people would have invested one dollar in Bitcoin here um, in 2010, in the beginning there, bam, one dollar in Bitcoin or one dollar in gold, and then we look at the next 11 and a half years, then one dollar in Bitcoin would now be around 72 million dollar worth in dollars <laughs> and one dollar in gold would now be one dollar 71 over there <laughs> so if people would have invested one dollar in gold they could now buy a snickers bar and if people would have invested one dollar in bitcoin 11 and a half years ago uh, they would buy now a yacht a house and anything else they want for the 72 million us dollar this is what bitcoin is doing and i believe that bitcoin keeps doing this in my opinion in my opinion guys this is exactly what bitcoin is doing for the next 10 years again it's going to outperform gold it's going to outperform any other asset it's going to outperform any other stock it's going to outperform everything else when it comes to finance and i think that is why you should also stop into bitcoin you need to protect your capital support the revolution of a peer-to-peer -peer cash when the physical cash disappears and yes maybe make a shitload of profit because bitcoin is outperforming anything else in the world so why why would you invest in real estate? Why would you invest in stocks? Why would you invest in all those things when you can make this huge return on investment by just stepping into Bitcoin? That was the short video for today, guys. I didn't say BAM today, did I? Uh, maybe because I have the sheer t-shirt. BAM! That was the BAM then. If you like the t-shirt or the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully see you later today in the other video as well. And if not, i see you tomorrow morning again for another TA video. Maybe then again on time. BAM!